Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. In some recent tutorials, we talked about how to dynamically and automatically set your print area based on certain criteria. And I'll put the links to those tutorials below. But in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how by entering a few numbers in just a few cells, you can very specifically define where you want that printing to start, how many rows high, how many columns over you want that print range to be. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have this print range that's eight columns wide, 19 rows high, and I want to be able to print maybe just certain portions of this, but also include the header row, even if I want to just print these cells down here, or maybe these few over here. So what we're going to do is, first, I'm going to look at the Formulas tab and go into the Name Manager, and notice I have nothing preset there. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to the Page Layout and Print Area, and I'm going to highlight a range, and using that selection, set my print area. Now, by doing that, if I go back to my Formulas tab, Name Manager, Notice I have an entry now that is called print area and it defines it sheet 1 A1 to H19, which is my full range. Okay, so that's the first step. Next thing I'm going to do, I have an offset formula here that I'm going to go ahead and highlight and copy. And so I don't have to enter that again. So I'm going to go to my name manager and I'm going to select new and I'm going to call this define print and the refers to I'm going to paste that offset formula and we'll go through this in a minute so you best understand it. And I'll say okay so now I have two entries in the name manager and lastly I'm going to go to page layout go to my print titles and in rows to repeat at the top, I'm going to select row 1, and I'll say OK. So if I go to my name manager, sometimes this happens. I'm going to go to my print area, and I'm going to rename this. Excel decided to change it on me. So I'm going to change this to define print. Oops. And close that, save it, say OK. So again, define print is defined with that offset function. My print area says equal define print, and my print titles is sheet one, row one. So now, if we look at our offset function here, you can see the offset function, the syntax is, I want a reference, how many rows down and columns over from that reference do I want to go to start, and then how high and how wide do I want that range to be? And the formula that we copied here has cell A2 as my reference point, and then J1, J2, J3, and J4 as the four references for how many rows down, how many columns over, what's the height, and what's the width. So in this scenario, I have 0, 0, 18, and 8. So I'm starting at cell A2, I'm going down zero rows, I'm going over zero columns. So that means my anchor point or my starting point is cell A2, which has book one in it. So I want the height to be 18 rows high, and I want the width to be eight columns wide. And with that, if I hit Control P, I get the full range that my, uh, area is set up to be. But if instead I only put five rows high and two columns wide and I hit control P, notice I get five rows high and two columns wide. Now if I want to start, maybe I want to start down at book 10. So from cell A2 I want to go down nine and I only want it to be nine high. So I'm going to say, from my reference point, I want to go down nine rows over zero, zero columns. I want it to be nine rows high, and I want it to be my full eight columns wide. 
I hit control P and again you'll see it started at book 10 I have the eight columns I have the nine rows so again how this works is we've created a print area and we've referred to define print and define print is this offset function that refers to these four cells here and then I've added print titles to have my row one always print at the top so by referencing these four cells in column J it's telling me from that starting point how many rows down and how many columns over do I want to go to get to my new starting point then how many rows high and how many columns wide do I want to print so by setting up something like this you can easily define from your data range what cells exactly you want to print and that's how you can do that in Excel and there you have it I hope you like what you see if you do like what you see here please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network I can be found on Facebook Google Plus Twitter LinkedIn and YouTube so I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.